A major subclass of psychotic disorders is schizophrenia, full-blown madness. Schizophrenic disorders strike about 1% of the world's total population. Less than a third improve with treatment. Of the rest, half are sick on and off throughout their lives, and the other half never improves. The symptoms include a break with reality, delusions of grandeur, false beliefs, intense jealousies and hallucinations. Researchers use psychological and also biological approaches to study schizophrenia. Researcher Dr. Fuller Torrey. Basically what the biological theory says is that schizophrenia is a brain disease just exactly like Alzheimer's disease, like multiple sclerosis, like Parkinson's disease. Something gets in the brain, changes the chemistry in the brain, and therefore the brain does not function normally. It therefore it becomes a disease like diabetes. It's simply a disease of the body, except the brain is the part of the body that's affected. One biological factor that can predispose a person to mental illness is genetics. Genes that are passed on in some families can adversely affect parts of the nervous system. Abnormalities in the structure of the brain caused by tissue damage may also play a role in mental disorders, as may hormonal imbalances. In those twins where one is schizophrenic and the other is not, um, in every case so far we've been able to visualize differences, to actually see differences in the brain, uh, especially on the MRI, the magnetic resonance imaging. We see, for example, the person who has schizophrenia will have larger ventricles of the brain. The ventricles are the spaces in the brain that carry the fluid through the brain. These are identical twins. The twin on the right is relatively normal. The fluid-filled chambers, the dark areas that you see there, for example, right in the middle of the brain, these are, these are normal. There is no loss of brain tissue. On the other hand, on this one, they are about twice as large as they should be, about twice as large as the, the well twin. That means that some brain tissue has been lost, so the fluid has expanded to occupy the area. It's further evidence that something has gotten in the brain and changed the structure of the brain. That's part of the disease, schizophrenia. Genes are very important for the transmission of the vast majority of cases of schizophrenia, but they're not sufficient. They're not enough by themselves to produce this devastating form of mental illness. You have to have other contributors from the environment. These may be either psychological factors or they may be biological factors which are late in an individual's life. For example, having a severe viral infection or having some kind of influenza, being involved in an automobile accident where you have a concussion, exposing yourself to such things as LSD, PCP, other kinds of so-called street drugs which are not uh, recommended. Uh, these things could be enough to push you over a threshold. It has been said that schizophrenia is the cancer of mental illness. Although a complete picture of what causes schizophrenia remains a puzzle, it is certainly one of the most profound illnesses treated by mental health professionals.